are going to have fun. You might even wang chung. I was actually a little bit scared of the topic myself. I was wondering if I could manage to tell stories about joy that did not involve sex, drugs, or rock and roll. Because there's so much of that already on the show. Uh, and joy, I think, is kind of a little bit of a, uh, it, it's a little word, but it's, it's a big word too. Because I think it's not just happiness, it's got kind of like layers of other feelings underneath it. And so it's kind of more profound than just plain happiness. And you remember it. Like, I remember my first day of kindergarten. When I showed up, I was so worried. And I think it, we were all worried because I just wanted to be liked at kindergarten. And what I do remember is that my teacher's name was Miss Patty Shaw. And what I remember about her was just that her name was Miss Patty Shaw. <laughs> but I must have been talking at the end of a class because she told me that I had to stay after school for 10 minutes and lay my head down on the desk after, as all the other kids were filing out to go meet their guardians at the end of the day. So it's my first day of my education and I'm in detention. But I'm, I, I'm there with my head down and I look across the room and I notice that there's this little girl, Rachel, who has apparently been asked to stay behind as well. And Rachel was the cutest girl in the class. So naturally, I, like everyone else, just wanted to impress her. So I got this idea, and I start going, psst, psst, Rachel. And she looks up kind of wide-eyed because she doesn't want to get into any deeper trouble. She's already in 10 minutes of detention. So I say, look, look, look. And there was a stapler there. It was Miss Patty Shaw's stapler. Gigantic thing sitting on my desk. Very dangerous, Miss Patty Shaw. I put my thumb underneath the stapley part of the stapler. And I took my fist and I acted like I was gonna staple my finger. And at the last minute I go, Ooh, pull it back and don't do it. And she burst out laughing. And she had to stifle it so she wouldn't get in trouble. And I just suddenly felt this rush at that reaction from her because something in me clicked and I was beginning to understand that she liked me right away, instantly, she liked me. And I could probably get everyone in my kindergarten class to like me if I could make them laugh like that. So, I got all excited, I did it again, I was like, whoop, 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 and she just like burst out laughing again, and I was so excited, just got all caught up in the moment, and I got all, you know, committing to the joke, I raised my fist again and just go, <laughs> bam, and drive a staple right through my thumb. <laughs> what was I thinking? Probably not very much. I just got carried away. And now I was in horrible pain, and I was about to be in much, much more trouble than 10 minutes of detention. And Rachel was across the room looking at me like she was very afraid of me now. <laughs> so that was the day that I think I began my journey of being a comedian, and I learned that in this funny business, there's a hell of a lot of joy to be had, but often hand in hand with it is some awful, awful pain. <laughs> so, I think... <laughs>